Ladies and gentlemen. Legislator Laura Schaefer. Laura. Thank you. Please join me. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave oh the land of the free and the home of the Gentlemen, if we could have just one moment of silence. If we could have one moment in silent, of silence for the men and women in blue and all the veterans who have lost their lives defending us and defending our country. Thank you very much. From Valley Stream, Johnny DeGrace. Let's welcome him. Johnny DeGrace. Governor's parents, David Zeldin and his wife Carol. Oh, come on, let's welcome them. Last year we had a great victory in Nassau County. You've met, 
You've met our county clerk. Let's hear for her. She won by 64,000 votes. Maureen O'Connell and all the women in red. Mozzie Pillip, our county legislator. Annie Donnelly, our DA. Elaine Phillips, county controller. Jen DeSena, for the first time since 1989, we elected a Republican supervisor in the town of North Hempstead. Pam Panzik back from Jane, from Glen Cove. And one more time, Elaine Phillips, our county controller, and Maureen O'Connell, a great team. Ladies and gentlemen, forever Long Island's congressman, Peter King. Thank you, thank you, Joe. Thank you for the outstanding job you're doing. Thank all of you for being here tonight. The size of this crowd, the enthusiasm of the crowd, is going to send a message to Albany, to Washington, to the entire country that the Republican Party is back stronger than ever. And we are going to elect Lee Zeldin as our governor, the governor of the state of New York. We're going to elect Anthony Esposito. We're going to elect Andrew Garbarino. We're going to elect George Santos. We're going to send a full Republican delegation to Washington to knock out Nancy Pelosi once and for all as the Speaker of the House. And we are going to elect our state senators, our state assemblymen, everyone running on the Republican line. Joe Pinion running for the United States Senate. Michael Henry running for New York State Attorney General. We are going to win all of that, not just for us, not just the Republican Party, but for all the people of New York. And it's going to send a signal that's going to be heard around the country. But you here tonight, this is where it all began with Lee Zeldin when he was nominated last year here in Nassau County. This is what did it. And at that time, people said it couldn't be done. They didn't know what Nassau County could do. They didn't know what Nassau County could start and propel. But because of you, the grassroots workers, those who care about and love our country, the Nassau County Republican Committee, under the greatest chairman, Joe Cairo, we're going to win this.
soon to be Congressman George Santos. Chairman Cairo, I know that with us tonight is Congressman Steve Scalise. Well, Congressman, this is Nassau County. And come Tuesday night, Nassau County is going to send shockwaves across this nation. We are going to send Republicans to the state Senate. We are going to elect Lee Zeldin, our next governor. And we are going to flip the House of Representatives from Democrat to Republican. We are going to send Diaz Pizzito and Santos to Washington, D.C., and we are going to pry that gavel right from the hands of Nancy Pelosi. Ladies and gentlemen, win this and let's save our country. Anthony D. Esposito, George Santos, let's do it! Let's do it! We're gonna we're gonna pay them back in the New York State Senate. Senate, we're gonna sweep Nassau County. Now, Patricia Kansan Fitzpatrick. here for Patricia Kanzanieri Fitzpatrick. Oh, come on. Let's get, come on. What are you, half asleep? From Suffolk County. But we're going to show her in Massapequa and Farmingdale how Republicans come out and support her. Senator Alexis White. <laughs> County legislator, soon to be Senator Steve Rhodes. right here. Don't kid yourself. Our effort to take back this state starts in Nassau County. We're at the tip of the spear. When we This church in Freeport, the Reverend Eric Millett. Reverend Millett. Are you pumped tonight? We are not a Republican. Nassau County, here we are. The fight is on. Are you ready? Are you pumped? Let me tell you something, Eric. When you told me you're running for this parade, I was in that building.
chicken is going to win. The Democrats are afraid because we're here to say we're going to do this with your help. Let's give another cheer for Republican power. Let's do it. Let's get it done.
policies that are in place because of Kathy Hochul not understanding why Lee Zeldin is concerned about crime. I come from the black community where we see this every single day. These policies are like a runaway train crashing right into our community, leaving a trail of body bags and dead bodies and victims in its wake. Lee Zeldin is the man with integrity, with honor, with respect, who cares, who cares about the people in our communities, and he will go in there with his tough law and order policies and turn it around. So I'm looking for everybody to get out there and vote. I am a proud black Republican, voting Democrat for 40 years. where people maybe get 
they lose hope, they get despair, they say, is there anything that we can do about these problems? And then last year something happened. And I think it sent a message to a lot of states that gave up hope. There's a state right next to Washington, D.C. called Virginia. It's not a red state, it's not a purple state, it's a deep blue state, but it was a state that was going down the wrong track. And you had this guy, Glenn Youngkin, who said, you know what, I'm going to do something about it. And I'll tell you what they said when he started running. They said, oh, that all sounds nice, but that guy's got no shot because he's a Republican in a blue state. And he didn't care because you know what he had? He had passion, he had a belief. And he was talking about parents being involved in their kids' education. We saw what happened during COVID. You saw what happened. All of these so-called experts who colluded with each other to shut your kids out of school. And it devastated. Millions of kids will never make that up. And parents got angry. Parents started going to school board meetings. And they actually said, they actually said parents would be domestic terrorists if they showed up at a school board meeting. And the parents said, you know what? I've never seen more people run for school board in the last year. Because they said, if you're going to call me that, then we're just going to go take our school board back. We're going to take our cities back. And in Virginia, they took their state back. And when Lee, when Lee came to me a year ago and said, you know what, Steve, and we love serving together, he said, I'm going to run for governor of New York. And he was, he was desperately heartbroken about what he's seeing in this state, like all of you are. And you've seen over a million people have left the state. And so if you're in this great state of New York, you've got two choices. If you don't like the direction, you've seen your friends leave. And you could just sit back and go, you know what? There's nothing we can do about it. Is there any way that we can turn this thing around? It's New York. And then Lee said, I don't care what the odds are. I don't care what the experts say. I love this state, and I'm willing to stay and fight for it. And so are you. And because you care, because you care, you can make a difference. There are not elections, there's not a lot of elections where regular people, hardworking people, the people that make this country great, the people that make New York great, where you can actually take action. You can do something about it. You know friends. Every one of you in this room knows people that don't realize just what's at stake like you do. And you've only got six days left. And I know this, because I know this about New York. New York people are tough. Lee Zeldin is tough. Yeah. Like the people in the world. And you're not the kind of people that are going to sit back or just complain you're going to do something about it, and in the next six days, spend every free minute you have reaching out to all of your friends. Friends that might not think it makes a difference. Oh, well, can it really happen in New York? Well, you know what? It can happen in New York, and it will happen in New York.
Let's welcome Joe Pinion, our candidate for the U.S. Senate, and Mike Henry. Mike Henry for the Attorney General.
Are you going to work like our state depends on it? Because we do. And we got to make sure we work to get the Zeldin Esposito team elected and do it as if your life depends on it. And you know why? Because it does! She knows how to solve the crime problem because the person I'm about to introduce has worked in law enforcement for 25 years in the NYPD. She's a former deputy inspector, the commanding officer of the 70th Precinct in Brooklyn. And from emergency services to being the Lee Zeldin protector, and we all saw her on television protecting our next governor, Lee Zeldin. She will protect New Yorkers! And the person I'm about to introduce is depending on every one of you to make sure we work like we've never worked before to get the Zeldin Esposito team elected. Let's hear it for our next Lieutenant Governor of the State of New York, the one, the only, Allison Esposito!
Wouldn't it be sad if he came this close and lost? I said, it wouldn't be sad. It would be tragic. We've got crime that's out of control. Inflation out of control. Taxes out of control. People leaving our state. And it's got to end. And the man that can do that is the man that I'm about to introduce. Ladies and gentlemen, the next governor of the state of New York, Lee Zeldin! Because the House of Representatives 
which is going to flip running through Nassau County, is about to go from blue to red, and we are going to take the gavel out of the hand of former Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer into former Senator Chuck Schumer, and we're going to elect this man, Joe Pinion. This state's going to have a new Attorney General. His name is Michael Henry. And we are going to have a selfless, dedicated, courageous hero. Somebody who would be willing to take a bullet for all of us. Just like we love all of our men and women in law enforcement who are here, we are about to have one of them serve as our state's next Lieutenant Governor, Al Esposito. I actually had somebody, Chairman, contact me today. He's from Nassau County and he moved out of state. And he said that he's feeling so good about the momentum and energy that we have He's actually coming back this weekend because he wants to move back. He's coming back to look for some real estate. We're going to bring people back to New York. Don't leave. It's time to make life in New York more affordable. It's time to get rid of rogue district attorneys who let violent criminals run free. We're going to combat the soaring crime, the crushing taxes, the skyrocketing costs. No longer should you have to worry about feeding your family or heating your home. It's time for us to take our state back, to make life in New York more affordable, to make our streets and our subways safer, to make sure your freedoms are defended unapologetically, to make sure that your personal decisions stay yours, to have the government that you can be proud of again, a government that you are back in control of again, Yes, Long Island is in the House Tuesday, November 8th, when we elect a new governor here in the state of New York. Thank you for your support. It's get out the vote time. Let's get it done. Buffalo as we yell Zeldin. One, two, three, Zeldin!